Physics is the study of the universe. That's what I tell my students. Well, our volleyball court, it's not called volleyball court, it's called laboratory. I wanted to find a place where I could do engineering and I could play volleyball. There can be joy in athletics. There can also be joy in academics. Lorna is the quintessential student athlete. We need a lot of young women that are willing to take on a big challenge. I have no doubt that she can chase down those dreams no matter how big they are. It's the best situation that I could possibly have found. My name is Lorna Kerr, I'm a sophomore in aerospace engineering and I play volleyball. I think because I do kind of have like an engineering brain, I like to know the nitty gritty like technical stuff. Lorna is a libero, DS, defensive specialist on our team. She really enjoys working very hard to get the movements down and the technique down. I think that's why I love being in practice and like learning it so much is that I can go up for film, dissect it even more, and I just love just learning how to play it and learning the strategical side of it. I think her moment is when she's made that perfect pass. She sent up that dime and then get a good set and a kill. She's very mindful, very thoughtful, and she's a perfectionist and we're trying to undo that. Luke always laughs at me on like overthinking something. He'll always come up to me at practice and be like, it's not rocket science. Coaches and players, we gotta make 100,000 decisions every day. But at the same time, there's gonna be a serve that you have to pass and Seto's gonna set and we gotta go kill the ball. So it's not a rocket science. So we're gonna be just fine if we keep it very simple. I think it was pretty early. It was seven, eight, nine years old where we were thinking, I think I finally got my engineer out of the three kids. I've kind of always known I want to do engineering. My dream is to be able to work at like NASA or like an aerospace company. I'm a chemical engineer, work for Pfizer. My brother, a nuclear engineer. It ends up the oldest son. I actually went into engineering as well, but it's always kind of been that desire to figure out how do things work? What makes this happen? We run through the family that way. When we went on family vacations, they were never relaxing family vacations. It was always like, get in the car we're trekking across America. We would always stop at like any museum near the vicinity of where we were going. I think the one that really sticks out to me is the Naval Aviation Museum in Pensacola, Florida, where her grandfather was in the Navy and worked on many of the airplanes that she got to see. And you know, she could kind of see that connection between what her grandfather did and uh, what she could potentially do. I joke sometimes those two share a brain. Like we can be at one of those museums we've mentioned and those two will just start talking full on science, physics, just STEM stuff, you know. It's fun watching it actually. Originally I was born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri. Then during the pandemic, my parents and I moved to North Carolina. And so I didn't really know the college is like in this area. And then my dad was always like, you know, NC State has a good engineering program. <laughs> she zeroed in on NC State for, I think for a couple of reasons. The engineering program was definitely tops on her list, and then the volleyball opportunity certainly sealed that deal. When I was recruiting and stuff, obviously I wanted to find a place where I could do engineering and I could play volleyball. And being here, it's the best situation that I could possibly have found. It's like my coaches are so supportive and my teammates are so supportive of everything that I'm doing basically, and they allow me to do both. Academically, I don't think there's much better schools in this country where she's gonna be able to achieve. We have elite STEM programs. So I think it fits greatly because she's building her future beyond college and she's building future with us here at NC State in this volleyball program. What's it like to be so close to home in college? It's super nice to be close to home. I got a lot of people being like, you don't want to stay close to home. Like you want to move far away. It's the greatest thing ever. It's the best thing ever, yeah. <laughs> It's nice. It's nice that she can just pop in and pop out. The truck stories are kind of infamous. First of all, I drive my grandpa and my brother's super old truck. It's like a 1994 Dodge Dakota. Breaks down every other weekend. So it's fun to be able to like maybe get it home and then be able to go home and have a weekend off and work on the truck with my dad. It takes a lot of effort to keep it running. It's a lot of fun. It's complex enough that you really have to scratch your head when it comes to solving the problems, but it's also simple enough that it's things that she has the confidence to try to tackle. The things that both of them have learned because the truck has broke down on them. I mean, you can see developing over time that, I think I can fix that. It's like hands-on engineering and a little break from school and stuff, and then 
homemade cooking is always nice, so. <laughs> it's funny that I still get the question, what's for dinner? One of the great things about her playing in the ACC and us being located here in the Triangle is we make it to just about every game. So I'm taking my first like college physics class last semester during the season, and my parents obviously come to every game, and they just so happen to sit next to this random guy. We just struck up a conversation, and, and the next thing you know, we realized he was a physics professor. One of the first games of the season, I went early, and turns out that I was sitting next to Lorna's parents. And he's a huge volleyball fan. And we were like, we have a kid out there who's in physics. And just one thing led to another, and he's kind of become a bit of a mentor. So even though she was not in my section, she was part of the course that I coordinate. And so Lorna began to meet with me on a weekly basis. It's super nice to have that connection and know that like, oh, a professor that I have in engineering is supportive of volleyball, and also my coaches are supportive of engineering. It's kind of nice to have that go both ways. Lorna and I enjoyed talking about physics and volleyball, and occasionally the two came together to talk about the physics of volleyball. Something else that I really appreciate about Lorna is that she embraces challenges. So in athletics, you do not shy away from a challenge, you embrace it. In the same way, Lorna likes hard problems. I think Lorna understands that to become good at something, it takes conviction, it takes a lot of hard work, you gotta sacrifice. It's just like always what I've done, is I've always done academics and I've always done volleyball. We're a program that still tries to build legacy here, and we need a lot of players and young women that are willing to take on a big challenge. She is not looking for the easy question, the easy way out. I'm getting to a point where I've gone home for calc help, and my dad's like, I actually never learned how to do that. Like, you're, you've passed me. And I feel like a crown. I feel like I'm, I've like risen above. I know more math than my dad. I'll say she's much more talented than I was at 19, 20 years old. It's a lot of fun when we sit down and we talk through challenges and such. I think she's found there can be joy in athletics and being successful there. There can also be joy in academics. Lorna is the quintessential student athlete. And it's kind of easy to go from like volleyball practice in the morning to then engineering classes in the afternoon because I'm in the same headspace. Just as the qualities that lead to success in volleyball, those same qualities lead to success in science and engineering. The goals that she has are, are lofty, big goals. She is a tremendous role model for other young women to follow. It makes me immensely proud. You know, maybe some eight-year-old girl who loves science, who also loves whatever sport she happens to love, realizes she doesn't have to choose. I want other young girls to see women in sports and women in STEM. We belong here, and nobody should even bat an eye about it or think twice about it. Lorna really has found her home at NC State. If you can think about it, and you can dream it, you can do it.